Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lazy Days Rider. The sun is setting over there. It's a beautiful day, it's been a beautiful day all day, really. Um, it's nice and peaceful, it's calm. People keep driving by, but I'm happy for the first time in my life, uh, not in my life, certainly in recent weeks, I can truly say that I am happy, I'm content with how things have panned out, with how things have worked. And yes, I've been dicked around, and yes, I've been pissed off, and yes, I've not had the greatest dealing in life, but things are on the way up. I, I've got a new bike, I've got a new addition to the, the Lazy Days family, which I'll, of which I'll show you in a second, and we'll scoot off home in a, in a bit. Um, but I've got three days until the fucking love of my life comes back to me. Um... She's uh, she's been over in Switzerland for, for five weeks. She's got um, three days left before she flies home. And I am so fucking hyped to have her back, to be able to chat shit with her, to be able to eat a load of crap, watch stupidly bad films, and just get, get back to normal, you know. I've missed it a lot. And... I'm I'm not really a great person to show emotion, to show a great deal of um, feelings in a situation, but I I really have missed Leah, and you know now's the time to really show her how much I've missed her and how much I don't want her to go to Qatar in December, you know. But you know that's what she wants to do. I can't stop her. You know she's so passionate about. Um, about girl guiding and um, this COP17, COP18 I think it is this year um, you know that I can't stop and I, I won't you know so it's good to have her back or it will be good to have her back um, I've met D Link Uentius, I've met that, that man from Yorkshire I've met Chuckles85, Cow Tipper Drobium, Nasty Evil Ninja um, all in one go at the National Motorcycle Museum yesterday. Um, you know, and it's all worked out utterly beautifully. Um, you know, so I'm I'm really happy, folks, and I am so proud to be able to say that to you because, as you know, it's not been easy. I've not put that much content up recently. I did say that I'd probably just try and keep away from it a little bit. Um, but something's clicked. Something has changed. Um, I feel a whole lot calmer. I feel a whole lot better. And so with that in mind, I'd like to introduce you to Mila. Um, this is a Honda CBR 600. Uh, 2003 model I bought with 5,819 miles on the clock which over a nine year period is nothing and I got it for a very very good price as well so I'm, uh, I'm very happy with, with how she is, how she's turned out um, I've still got the shitty Kawasaki in, in the garage um, MCE are fanning around with with things and I'm still yet to hear from them as to when they're going to pick her up um, I mean it doesn't bother me you know they're the one that are paying it out you know I've got my new bike I've told them that I don't need it anymore um, you know it's just their fault for taking so bloody long um, but uh, yeah this is Mila she's a very very nice motorcycle. A little bit dirty from um, the trip up to Birmingham, but she did it without any hassle, without any problems. You know, I said, let's got the M5. You know, for for three hours. She was like, fine, yeah, let's go. And I ache a lot. The back of my neck is killing me so much at the moment. So. I'm going to go home now and I'm going to have a shower and have something to eat. I'm going to talk to Leah. Um, 
and go to sleep because I'm knackered. But before I do, you know, I say this a lot, I say it, you know, pretty often. And although I mean it every single time, I've not meant this, you know, more so than, than now. Um, you lot have been fucking brilliant. And I know I've not been active too much and I've not really been on top form, but, you know, the support, and the uh, uh, the compassion and whatnot that you've all showed me and given to me is is humbling and like I say I know I say it quite a bit but I've never meant it more so than now so um, I really do appreciate your time, your effort, and everything that you put into to making me feel the way I do now. Um, you know, you really are just too good to me, I suppose. Well, I don't know why I'm coming down here. Just shoot onto the A388. But, um, yeah, it's all working out pretty good, so. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. If I could marry you all, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> um, certainly not Cal Tipper, he seems a bit of a pervert. He'd probably run off with the next girl he saw. <laughs> um, he was all over Jess like a bloody lovesick puppy he was. <laughs> But, you know, kiddos, I love you all. Thank you. And I'll uh, see you all soon. Cheers now.